My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. We're going to be running in with the same loadout that we had last time. Okay, okay, we could go gold, gold, relic, relic, stats, gold. Doesn't seem that bad, have it to have it. Yeah, same build we had last time, so it's going to be heavily focused around building up our greed counters. Uh, although I think I am going to need to be a bit more flexible about which weapons I ultimately decide are something I can start a run with. Oh! Perfect first relic here. Thank you, game. That makes fighting Headless Guardians later a lot easier. Just because you can actually spend the time to manu- Oh, really? You destroyed my offensive strategy? How dare you? Just because you actually have the time to maneuver around them and wait for the right attacks to parry, rather than having to go a little bit ham against them. Maybe a bit more flat out than you might necessarily be prepared to be. Oh, is the other side going to have a chest as well? Hell yeah, this is where we get our value. Come on, two-handed weapon. Nope, that's an off-handed, but it's fine. No, the other one doesn't have one. Dang. Decent as heck chunk of change there, though. 740 for the first area. Yeah. I've left the first room with 300 before, even after perfecting everything, so... Feeling pretty happy about that at the absolute least. At some point later, I imagine there are going to be areas that drop, you know, like 10 gold a pop. Thank you. This is exactly what I was talking about. We had time to maneuver away from the Headless Guardian there. Take my 33, a little bit of extra for our upcoming attrition, I imagine. That is the upcoming management for attrition rather than the upcoming attrition itself. That's right, this healing relic is going to destroy us gradually. That's really annoying. There were two things I had to roll through at the same time there. Ah, dang. Well, at least we lost the counter this early rather than losing it much, much later where it's like a 40 or something. Fire charge sword, feel decent about that. Just makes a larger subset of relics particularly useful for us. Obviously anything that says it has extra fire damage is gonna be nice. That's a mark, oh no. Uh, deals critical damage when only one enemy is nearby. I don't know if that's as good as the Blazing Blade for us. Whoa. Right. Just gonna... Watch out you there. Hey, that actually works? Huh. I did not think that was gonna destroy it. You had to wait for the attack itself. Deals critical damage to burning enemies. The thing is, I can burn enemies with my pistol at the moment. Fires, attacks with uh, perfect offhands at combat. <laughs> Fine, let's use this as like a straight up combo. We haven't got a two-hander. We might as well experiment a little bit at this point. Sorry, I can't actually wait to burn you again. I just have to go straight for the kills. Yeah, the slower attack speed on this still didn't really feel that great. Negative 30% to gold offering costs. Increases max stamina by one. I do like the max stamina increase. 
But this early on, negative 30% to gold offering costs as well as four decks? That seems like a really good investment in my future because it means that I am probably significantly less of the time going to have to spend my corruption in order to purchase things. This one is going to be necessary to use a death wipe. Oh, thank you. Finally got myself a two-hander. Two, Alright, you come up here. Oh, wait, never mind. Don't even need you. Right, back up to our 20s. Now we're at maximum money gain. Feel comfy here. It's back to the two-hander, I believe, instantly as well for the next fight. Really do like having a spear as a two-hander. I feel pretty comfortable with using them. It's less about whether or not they're strictly the best and more about exactly how well I can perform with them, which does have something to do with whether or not the weapon is, you know, meta or anything like that, or has any good stats. But more than that, at this point, what it has to do with is my familiarity with and comfortability using the weapon. Uh, ooh, 45% extra damage. Negative 20 to gold offering cost? You know what? And then we go, like, a very, very, like, kind of hyper-capitalist run in the next area. Just go to every shop. Engage constantly in commerce. Perfect. I, I think this could be interesting. I, sh I may even be able to afford the stats in this area. 750 by base, right? I imagine the negative 30 and negative 20 stack uh, additively. So it should cost, what, 375? We should have the ability to get that before then, surely. As long as we get any greed kills whatsoever at any point. Thank you. Just needed you to slow your roll for a moment. Uh, yeah, Stonebreak is not going to be better than this. Except for the fact that it can open... Secret areas, I much prefer spears. I find I definitely overcommit when I have a heavy. That is to say, I overcommit to attack animations, then I end up taking extra damage as a result. Oh, yeah, absolutely love to see it. Very simple room. Bunch of stacks. And yes, indeed, we got enough money. Heck, we would have had enough <laughs> without... Uh, uh, without the cost reduction on it. I wonder if this means I go for a weapon now. Yeah, maybe I just get a better better main hand weapon. <laughs> this is something that I have not been doing enough in runs, and that is adapting my strategy on the fly. And that's because fundamentally, like, I understand certain things in this game that work right now, but not exactly all the depths of why. And that's going to be our next big journey in this game is instead of just sticking to rigid strategies that, you know, are pretty good and work a decent amount of the time, I need to have core command of the fundamentals so that I can adapt the strategies on the fly. <sighs> Extra critical damage. It's good against elites is the big reason that I'm actually looking at this weapon, despite the fact that it's a heavy. 
because I do need something that helps me handle elites in the next area. It's just a necessity. Okay. Hopefully I manage to get the boss down. I really want a fast on hand weapon. Please give me a claw to balance out the, the slow speed of my heavy. No! Oh god, that was that was so close. Okay. And then I'm just gonna punish the absolute hell out of you for that. Get him. Yeah, I can't take swings between those attacks where usually I would. Good lord, that was effective. 65 green kills. 66 now. Got a lot of money from that kill. Alright. Uh, extra damage to the main weapon's claw, but that turns off my fire. Any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. Great. I, I would love ways to heal now. I think I still will go with the dragon sleeve gun because you know, the other pistol would get replaced pretty quickly anyhow. Okay. I may have to hard reroll looking for a main hand weapon here because I really, really don't like the attack speed of this mace. Also, up plus 74% damage right now is definitely the only reason that I can take care of, like, anything. <laughs> At least with that main hand weapon! Oh, almost. I am so happy that I had something to help us take care of the elite there. Oh, that's a main hand weapon. Sacrificial Machina does critical damage when only when it minis nearby. Uh, extra points per point of corruption. Oof. Like, it's not great, but it is a, it's an interim weapon. It's an interim weapon. I can't hard roll and keep missing main hand weapons after this. That would just be the worst case scenario. So I guess I'll have to settle for this at the moment. Um, okay, challenge definitely. If I actually manage to keep the greed kill through this challenge room, I'm gonna be very amazed. Very, very surprised. Pleasantly, mind. Okay. Oh my god. We did it. <laughs> Neat! <laughs> yeah, taking out the Headless Guardian there at the very start happened to be correct. The Sacrificial Machina did a lot more damage than I was kind of expecting it to be doing at that point. So very, very pleased about it. Thank you. Uh, Cadaverous Infestation. Yikes, don't like that. Regular enemies can spawn additional enemies when killed. Those enemies can then attack me and take away my greed counter. And then my fake uh, face makes the frowny face. We're getting there. We're almost in those trick didge, which is the fun new way that I say 100. Open this one up for us. Thank you very much. Extra damage on bows as well as plus two decks. <laughs> I love all of these relics right now. I've got extra healing relics and no healing right now. Actually, if I use my Machina, that's that's got 1% heal. So yeah, I can use the Jewel of Transformation at the moment. I, I probably just need to drop the negative 10, right? Negative 10 is so unimpactful. Eventually, I'm just going to need some things that give us bonuses for having uh, golds 
offerings as well. So like heal on gold offering or heal corruption on gold offering as well. I can see that being particularly useful. Oh my god, I actually am very surprised that I managed to keep it through that. Extra fire attacks. No, yeah, this this weapon is just too good against elites. We bought it for a reason, didn't we? Right, what do you got for us? Heal 15% of gold offering amount. I mean, the thing is, each greed kill removes one corruption is nice as well. I think I have to replace the Chalice of Vigor. So heal 15% of the gold offering amount, and then any healing that exceeds maximum health is turned into gold. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. We've also just got 20 decks at the moment, which is just... It's a, it's a good amount of decks. That's plus 40% damage on all of our weapons, in addition to the plus 100% damage we have from the green kill counter at the moment. Which I think actually does stack to 100 maximum. So I think we are actually complete in our journey there. Perfect. I mean, look, these little weenie bits of gold off to the side, surely they no longer matter. Let's turn the light back on. No! I saw that that enemy was attacking immediately before I... Oh, gosh. Hey, 1% extra damage per point of text. Neat. I'll take that. I saw that that enemy was starting its attack animation as I was going into that screen, and I was worried that it was actually going to be able to commit the entire way through. You, uh, you go, I'll just chase you all away. I don't like any of this right now. I am terrified. Oh gosh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, too many enemies. Take my plus damage and gold find as well as my extra health. <laughs> Our gold is an old meme right now, happy to see it. Very nostalgic. Ooh. Really racking up these greed kills right now. I gotta stop paying attention to it before I start losing them all. What's this? A dagger with extra crit damage. Probably not really worth my time, though. <laughs> Get away from me. Gosh, I really probably should have somehow sequestered all of these bats into the other room. Because they legitimately could have actually complicated the... Uh, Finishing of that room. Gold offerings remove corruption. Yeah. I I think at this point we no longer need uh, a negative 20 to our gold offering cost anymore. I think we might be. Actually, you know what? We have no bows. But I, I do like bows for the final fight. All right, I'm gonna replace the worshiper's cloak. Give myself a little bit of that muscle stretch. Here we go. All good. <sighs> One. What? I I I just didn't think I was close enough. Frankly, I thought there was no chance. Well, kind of happy 
to have finally lost it, TBH? <laughs> I don't have to worry about it anymore. Can't lose what you already lost. Yeah, I'm going to say that this was a anti-choking in the boss fight strat. I intentionally lost the counter there so that I wouldn't lose it and take a bunch of more damage uh, in the eventual boss fight. That's definitely what happens. Certainly. No lies whatsoever. And you all believe me, so it's okay. Back up to a decent counter, at least. So 25% of max health when a curse is lifted. Well, the curse is going to be lifted in the next room. And unless I need a full 25% of max health back, that is going to be a waste of a relic. Because after this, obviously, it's no longer useful. One thing I love about this actual Machina is just critting bosses for every attack. Because of course they're always alone. I thought I was going to be standing right in the middle there. Wow. Bad parry timing from me. Ah! Yeah, it's literally as soon as he finishes his main attacks, you kind of just get in there. Make sure they're rolled away before I do the finisher there for the final stamina. That's our third and then fourth parry here. We could get the champion weapon. We could have gotten the champion weapon against the first champion as well, actually. And no champ for me. Uh, that would be an extra 20% damage right now to all of my weapons. As well as some extra constitution, which could be nice. Now it does extra damage against all these champions and bosses. The only problem is this is still very slow to swing. Yeah, but the other one is guaranteed to be dealing critical damage every time it hits a boss. I think I'll settle with that. I don't like only getting two pieces of equipment after I kill a champion. Like, I am much more on board at this point with the idea of getting back the champion's bounty, champion's loot, something like that. I deal 10% extra damage in the life. Me. I should get a fu fire weapon. Uh... Halfway through saying a thing that I distracted myself from. Oops. Nate. I, I do like that we have a weapon that just interrupts so that we can take out the dead eyes here very easily. Because if you can interrupt the dead eyes, you're. <laughs> You really never have to worry about them whatsoever. Yeah, that was a problem. That was a really big mistake on my part. Rolled further than I thought I could. Didn't have the stamina roll back. Oh, uh, I. You know what? I actually don't care about weapon stouncing anymore. Why should I? I need to just use my main weapon to try and get as much healing as possible. So it's so it's fifteen percent that we heal. Not fifteen percent, sorry, fifteen total stats. Remarkable that it was kept on that amount of health the entire time, just constantly, just not dead until it managed to hit me. 
or until I'd spent out as much stamina as I possibly could. Come on, Haven. It's a question mark room. That means it has to be a Haven, right? We've seen this. Sorry, just gonna have to go with the thumps here constantly. Oh, why did I have to roll backwards? I really, really, really need to start getting shrines. Just so that I can buy something from them, frankly, at this point. if I can buy something, I can heal up a significant amount. Just at least give me the opportunity to game. Uh, this isn't going to be a store, is it? Yeah, this feels like a gold room. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a store at the end. Stats? No. And 150% of damage taken in gold. Uh, it is 10 points of dex, which is 20% extra damage again. Ooh! 6% base damage per 1,000 gold carried. Keep myself above 10,000. Have 60% extra damage on all my weapons. Yeah. My healing will no longer exceed my max health anymore, so I'm going to take the Gleaming Sapphire there. Woo! Okay! Suddenly we are way back on board. Uh, I, I really do need a weapon, but I have, let's have a look at the map, like three weapon rooms upcoming right now. I'm very pleased to have that. Huh. Okay, so their disappearance is not interrupted. Interesting, interesting. I knew that opening with the big swings there was actually going to be able to limit the amount of enemies on the field. This is 18% extra damage. No longer really care about the green kill timer limits. This is really good. We got so many resources early, and now we have the ability to transition out of the resource gain into actual utilization. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Is it necessarily going to win? I don't know. Is it definitely already a good run, regardless of how it goes in the end? 100%. Oh, you, oh, you best believe it is. Oh. Hey, yeah, great maneuvering through that room. I wanted to comment it on the moment. Comment on it at the time, rather. Uh, but did not want to take damage while patting myself on the back. I'm gonna wait until after I'm done patting myself on the back. No! Yeah, that was bad. So heavy weapons set off those things then, right? I didn't think they did, but heavy weapons just set off barrels. Uh, okay. Deal critical damage for two seconds after a perfect dodge. That happens a lot in the, uh, lot in the boss final fight. It deals extra damage against burning and poisoned enemies. We're not going to be doing either of those, but extra damage against elite champions and bosses. Well, I mean, it's going to be a boss, right? Also, I do just need to continue buying things to continue keeping up the benefits that I get from buying things at this point because those are the remaining kind of like economy-ish trinkets that I kept. Of that. Uh, unfortunately, I also did just lose all of my non-shot anti-attrition. 
Which is to say, now the only way that I can heal is inside of a shop. By buying something. So not exactly super keen on that. Honestly, that didn't have to hit either of these. It was just about making sure that it was dead before I go in. Plus 100%. Good lord. Oh, absolutely destroyed him. Good room. I mean, at the end, good room at least. Stats out here. Gotta buy the most expensive for the largest heal that I can get. Hopefully I never have to spend more than the 10k at the end, but I'll probably value the health more than the 6% extra damage. Good dodges. Good dodges right there. Just make sure that the dead eye is taken down instantly. Oh god, the second one's also a champion. One thing about the dead eyes is I can never tell the champions from the non-champions. I know it's like the glowing red eye, right? But I weirdly just don't perceive that at times with them. So I kind of just have to go by attacking them and then looking for the pattern on the health bar. Which I'm pretty sure I've taken damage to exactly that, like a couple times before. Oh! Offhander the... Yes, yay. Offhander shield, parry. Extra health per enemy kill. I mean, I could end up using this for, for healing. And, in fact, probably will. Uh, my charge stopped dead there. That was uh, clearly the charge's fault. Definitely not mine, somehow. So like, ideally, I pepper these enemies down and then finish them off with the shield for the healing. I'm trying to set up an idea of how I'll ideally deal with them. Ah! Ideally deal with them so that I have a easier time just focusing on and executing that. I found since Let's Playing, occasionally I'll need to commentate a little bit of a game to myself so that I can kind of use that space, the spoken space that is, to mentally work through the strategies and check them for consistency. Uh, extra critical damage. Does extra damage of the base, uh, sorry, if the uh, secondary weapon is a shield, which is active, No, I don't think it can beat the one that we currently have. We're going to be dealing critical damage with this consistently. We might as well just keep rolling. At the absolute least, we might see a shield that says negative 10% damage taken, which is good enough. Which would be at the absolute least good enough. Um, no reason to go for those. I mean, I would like a bow. No bow for me. That's fine. 
We're going to be using our, our main hands the entire time through the boss fight. There, there is no time for swinging the Titan Slayer. You can probably get like one swing of the Titan Slayer in before the enemy kills you. Uh, but that's about the attack speed that they have compared to your own, right? It's not considered a perfect dodge. What was that? Yep. Balls. Oh, never mind. Okay, that was. Pretty much any time I crit, that's because they were considered perfect dodges. Yes, at least. True. Oh, yeah, I gotta love to see those yellow numbers there. Get to give him the absolute business. There we go. Halfway through your health points. Get away from the frenzy phase. I've got to make sure that I back up a little more commonly because one mistake I keep making is I stay very, very close. And then the boss does their AoE attack. And I haven't left myself with enough stamina to get through it. Okay. Uh, I think I just no hit that boss. I... I... I started feeling that I was there about halfway through that fight. So, ah, so it doesn't, the Blood Emblem doesn't just get dropped by the boss. Interesting. Yeah, I started feeling like I was on a no hit like halfway through that fight, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to look at the footage to confirm it because I tried to push it outside of my head so that I wouldn't tilt myself. The workers dealt the most damage to me. It was 432. Okay. I think at this point it is fair to say that this is the best run that I've had yet. I'm damn proud of myself. Oh. That is the hard dungeon in the Jaguar down. We get a new exploration available. Let's have a look at that stuff. Okay, so this is the very hard exploration. Elite enemies attack faster. The power and resistance of servants and traps are increased. Previous explorations modify as apply. Healing room is more scarce. That's actually good for me. I would prefer that. All damage taken increased by 100% in the quest of invulnerability. Interesting. Then death in the Jaguar is... Uh, when death calls, is only a matter of time. When the clock of life ticks, slaying your foes will only delay it. So I imagine you have to keep up the pace there effectively which i think i'm kind of training myself effectively for by having uh greed kills be such a heavy focus i think what we should probably do next is the quest of omniscience so start getting ready to finish the hard exploration in the serpent area we also have these special events that are unique try events these seem to be based off of the same the ones that now are disappeared, the, the challenges next to the explorations. I guess they do give you crystal skulls, so there are, is a reason to go through and do them. Hmm. I don't know if next I'm going to start doing the hard exploration or the special events, but regardless, hopefully in the next episode, we'll see you there. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. It's been Curse of the Dead Gods. This playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.